We just finished testing the Calandra by Brian. Now I've been testing Brian boats for uh, many years and I really like uh, what they've done but my friend John Dorton came over from Mastercraft a few years ago and I'd known John for almost two decades and he's really brought some of that Mastercraft flash, the innovation and the really high-end fit and finish to Brian and we're seeing some really innovative features from them like things like uh, being able to wake surf behind a stern drive safely, something you've never seen before there. So uh, the marriage has been a really a nice one for Brian. Now this boat is powered by Mercruiser's new 6.2 uh, liter engine and it puts out 350 horsepower. Now this is the one that are brand new, I'll do it all in house and this thing really rocks man. We got on a plane in 3 seconds flat to 30 miles an hour in 7.6 seconds with a top speed of 52.5 miles an hour. And one thing I love about it, it's got this really angry growl that says performance. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features of this boat. Calandra is a really nice little uh, sporty uh, handling boat. One thing I liked is at 20 miles an hour we put out a nice wakeboard wake, uh, wakeboard wake, nice crisp lip to it, and at 30 miles an hour it really flattened out nice for slaloming, so just kind of a do it all without having to have ballast, it's pretty neat. Well, Ben, one thing that I thought was really cool when we got on this boat, I always try to guess how long it is, and I, I always look for the number to give me a hint, and there wasn't a number on this boat. Uh, why'd you do that? Exactly. We always uh, noticed at boat shows or, or at dealerships, we have customers coming in looking for a specific number of boat, uh, and they'll write everything else off. We wanted everyone the opportunity to look at this Calandra. We felt that this boat was... Um, not a true representative of its size. So we gave it the name Calandra. Now this boat is 23 feet in length. I missed it by two feet. I thought it was a 25. So. Exactly, and that's, that's the approach we've taken. You know, one thing I love is how wide this uh, observer seat is. It's really nice. This OB seat fits with the whole concept of this boat that we're not trying to confine you into one certain spot and we don't want you to feel restricted in your space. So when you go to sit down here, you've got plenty of room to view a skier or a wakeboarder. Nice, I like this here too. Exactly. Flip flop. Ah, uh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Well, Ben, I, I see we're carrying that upscale look to the helm here, and I especially love this wheel. What, what kind of wheel is that? This is a stainless steel leather wrapped wheel. The cool thing about this stainless, it has a story. It's actually used by Beretta shotguns. It's manufactured in the same exact plant. And then this, uh, this leather here, here that's wrapped around it is true leather. It's, it's very nice wheel. It's got a great grip to it. But that's not the only thing that's going on here at this dash. We also have digital gauges here that read so accurate. We have four gauges, we have LCD reading, and then also one thing that's so important in gauges is that your gauges are backlit. Whenever you're boating at night, you gotta have backlit gauges that read the numbers so you can see them. Some gauges are ringlet, and it's just a distraction, and it really hinders your vision while underway. Now one thing I thought was really cool was this uh, arch here. Uh, what is that? This is our Archview windshield series. Now. Some northern markets might not take it, but here in Tennessee it's 95 degrees right now and we're both sweating. We could use a breeze. Florida, right? Florida, I want it too, for sure. Exactly. So it's just a great styling cue, especially on this boat. It's got a real beefy header. There is no side glass, so you're actually getting breeze coming through. So you, and it's refreshing on a day like so this. So you pull up the drive through and you can get your uh, root beer and hot dogs. <laughs> exactly. Right? Cool. They need to open up some of those on the lake. I'd be a <laughs> customer. Nice. Now, you know, one thing you don't see, often see in a 23-foot uh, boat is a head compartment. Mm -hmm. And this is another big boat feature this boat has. Let's take a look at it. So you can see the amount of space you have in this head. Now, this boat does not have the flushable head or the sink option. But just imagine how much space you have in there. Nice. Well, Ben, one thing I love about this boat is you've carried the uh, beam really far forward on this to give yourself a lot of room. Uh, what else do we have going on? 
Well, we really wanted to give our customers a bunch of bow room. Everyone really loves sitting up at the bow and catching the wind, especially on a hot day like today. There's some cool other features that are going on here. We have a built-in cooler up front for easy access to beverages. We have a pop-up, uh, we have six pop-up cleats for tying off the docks, um, and you can pop them back down so they don't catch anything, catch any clothing. One cool feature is our Clarion sound system. We also have a Clarion head unit at the helm where you can control your tunes. Now, the cool part is we're standard Bluetooth, so I could be sitting here right now playing my tunes, changing the songs just sitting here. Gotta have your tunes. You do. Now, what about up front here? Up front, we have a anchor uh, locker lid and storage area where we also include from the factory a anchor. Nice. So you get one that fits perfectly in there. Exactly. For more information on the Calandra by Bryant and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones, and we'll see you out on the water.